so today in this video lecture we will be uh, uh, solving this numerical again it is a non concurrent force system and we need to compute the resultant and uh, we need to locate that resultant on this ab and bc where where exactly it is going to cut ab and bc so starting with this numerical everything is given but we can see that these forces are inclined so the inclination first has to be found out okay that is one thing and second thing is we also need to select the point where we are going to transfer all our forces because if you have seen in my previous video lecture uh, i think previous to previous in which i had taught how a non concurrent force system can be converted to a concurrent force system it has to be the forces need to be transferred to a point so the point that i have selected is point a you are free to choose any other point of uh, your liking or of your convenience so the reason that i have selected point a is because you can see this 1000 newton its line of action is passing through point a so this force will not contribute to moment then the x component of 632 its line of action is passing through point a so again the moment of that will be zero then the 722 newtons this component the line of action is passing through a so the moment of that would be zero that is why i have selected point a so let us select point a as reference point about which we may find the moment of all forces right after this we need to find these angles so theta 1 theta 1 if you see this is also theta 1 right so tan tan theta 1 will be 6 by 2 so theta 1 will be tan inverse of 6 by 2 this is theta 2 this is theta 3 So theta one is tan inverse six by two, which comes out to be seventy one point five six five one degrees. Next we have theta two. So this is also theta two, and we can say tan theta two is equal to four by three. So this is two meters. This is two meters. So it's four by three. So theta two is tan inverse of four by three, which is fifty three point one three zero one, and theta three. You can see that this is theta three. So tan theta three is Two by three, which is uh, therefore theta three is tan inverse of two by three, which is thirty three point six nine zero one. Okay, fine. So we have found the uh, angles. Now, uh, again, this numerical as uh, is same as the previous one, uh, where we solve it using in two parts, part A and part B. Part A is purely finding the resultant of all the forces. and while finding the resultant we do not have to actually transfer the forces to point a we can keep the forces where they are and then we can find the resultant part b is where we find the moment all right so in part a uh, when we find the resultant it is summation uh, under root of summation fx square plus summation fy square summation fx is uh, your first step to find So this force six thirty two, it will get resolved this way, correct? Thousand newtons will get resolved this way, one uh, to the right side and downwards, and seven twenty two to the left side and downwards. Okay. So accordingly, we have to uh, choose the sign conventions. Six thirty two going to the right, so six thirty two cos theta one. Then thousand uh, plus thousand sine theta two because again it's right. And we have minus seven twenty two sine theta three. So when you substitute all these values of uh, your angles, you get summation f x equals to five ninety nine point three six two four newtons. It is to the rightwards. Then we also have to find summation f y. We found summation f x. Now it's summation f y. So we have a net vertical force of summation f y. We can see that 632 sine theta one is upward, so it's positive. Then we have thousand cos theta two downward, so it's minus thousand cos theta two, and we have 722 cos theta three downward, so it's minus 722 cos theta three. I get F Y summation F Y to be minus 601.1752 newtons, which means that it is acting downwards. Okay. Now uh, we have this f x and f y with us, right? So you, uh, 
एफ एक्स वॉज एक्टिंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन इट वॉज पॉजिटिव एट वॉज फाइव नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स टू फोर एफ वाई वॉज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड्स इट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड वन पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फाइव सो आर रिजल्ट एंड विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एंड एट दिस पॉइंट करेक्ट एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव अल्फा सो आर इज अंडर रूट ऑफ फाइव नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स टू फोर स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स जीरो वन पॉइंट वन सेवन टू फाइव स्क्वायर which comes out to be 848.9073 newtons okay and alpha also we need to find so alpha is tan inverse of your y by x which is 45.0864 degrees correct after finding the resultant your part a is complete now part b is left part b is where we find the moments so i'll uh, we since we are transferring all the forces to point a i will find the moment at point a okay so summation m is uh, um we we'll start from 632 newtons so 632 sin theta 1 which is its upward component That multiplied by the perpendicular distance from point A to the line of action of this force, which is four meters, and it is positive because it is causing an anti-clockwise moment about point A. So into four, and then we have its cosine component, which will be zero. Six thirty two cos theta one multiplied by zero because A is on the line of action. then we have 1000 newtons so actually the components that are zero you can actually avoid them writing in these in this equation but just for your understanding i am writing all the components this 1000 newton is also going to produce a zero moment at point a but still we'll include it in the equation so plus 1000 sin theta 2 multiplied by like sin is this force this is the sin 1 and this would be the cos 1 cosine 1 so 1000 sin theta 2 multiplied by 3 anti clockwise positive and 1000 cos theta 2 multiplied by 4 which is anti uh, which is clockwise therefore it's negative right so if you see this entire thing you will get this to be zero only this much part if you try to solve you will get this part to be zero it means that the contribution to the moment by 1000 newton is actually zero then we have 722 cos 33.6901 uh, which is uh, this one multiplied by zero because again its line of action is lying uh, like a is lying on the line of action of this 722 cos theta 3 and 722 cos a uh, sin theta 3 is this way so it's causing a clockwise moment about point a we can see it's minus 722 sin 33.6901 into 3 so you see there are a lot of things that we could have eliminated from this equation for example this we don't need this we don't need this entire thing we don't need so only two terms we actually needed in this entire equation therefore summation m comes out to be 1196.7907 Newton meters, which is anti-clockwise. Now, our moment is anti-clockwise, one one nine six point seven nine zero seven. So we need to eliminate this, and uh, uh, by by eliminating, I mean that we need to shift our resultant. By a certain distance, such that it produces the same moment at point E. So we need to shift our resultant to the left side because only if we shift it to the left side, your resultant will be able to produce a clock anti-clockwise moment at point E. If you try to shift the resultant to the right side, you can see that at about point E, it will produce a clockwise moment, which we do not need. so the distance by which it has to be shifted is given by varignon's theorem and the distance comes out to be 1.4098 meters okay and uh, 
now we can find its x and y uh, distances or x and y ordinates so the way how we need to find its x and y ordinate is like if this is 45.0864 or if I say that this is theta we can say this is theta this angle if this is theta we can also say that this is theta because if this is theta this is 90 minus theta and in this right angle triangle it would be theta correct so what I, we can say is this distance I can find first so it will be uh, let us say some uh, let, let me name it as y dash okay so cos theta is equal to 1.4098 upon y dash so y dash I will find from y dash uh, once you find this value from 6 meters you subtract this y dash you will get y component okay so let us solve it so we get y dash as uh, 1.9968 and from 6 if I subtract it I will get y as equal to 4.00322 okay so this is y 4.00322 and uh, like if this is theta we can also say that this is theta so finding x becomes easier we can say tan theta is equal to y by x y we already know we can find x so x will come out to be y upon tan theta right so y upon tan theta will give you x equals to 3.9 9911 or one one two meters Okay, so we found the ordinates where this result is cutting your AB and also BC. So that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll be learning uh, force as a vector concept. Okay, till then take care. Thank you.